Picking up where we left off in the previous episode, we have an application deployed to railsapp.dev and we can log in and interact with the website. And this is hosted on DigitalOcean using a load balancer to droplets. So the load balancer will send the traffic to one of these two different virtual machines. And we have that backed by a database cluster running PostgreSQL. And I've never logged into these virtual machines to provision them, to deploy the application or anything like that. It's all happened through Maersk. And so if you haven't seen the previous episode on Maersk, I highly recommend that you go watch that one first because it explains how it works and some of the nuances that you need to know about it. And so in this episode, we're going to take a deeper dive into Maersk as well as some of its nuances and just some other things to be aware of. And deploying your application with Maersk is as simple as running a Maersk deploy. This will go through, it'll build up your application with Docker containers and depending on your system, it could take a while especially if you're on an Apple Silicon having to emulate the x86 architecture. And you can see that after 10 minutes, it finally finished building the Docker images, and then it's doing the deployment. It's doing the health checks, making sure that everything is up and running before it swaps out the old application container for the new one. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.